Hi everyone, good evening. Um, I've spent the day out in the garden, loving it, getting a little bit of um, grounding and all the rest. Wanted to give you a quick update on our visitor. So, what happened was on Thursday um, afternoon, Thursday during the day, I did a lot of clearing for it. So, she had come in, it, it was of a feminine nature. She'd come in and um, wasn't bad, but wasn't good either. So what had happened was my partner does do a lot of um, medium work. He does help people pass over. So when he was confronted in the bathroom, in the shared bathroom, he asked her to leave. So we tried the, the authority thing, the things that um, Craig, Sally and Linda suggested. So we tried the authority aspect to it. And basically he said, you're not welcome here, leave, type thing. And she just didn't attack him. She just, it just, the energy just went bang right at him. And, and, and it hit him, basically. He really felt this energy hit. Um, and that's when he went, well, this is a little bit different to what he's normally used to. So, so that was fine. Um, the, and the other thing I want to do is thank everybody. The, the comments and everything else are really good. The reason why I asked for this advice was because I know that not every uh, help, you know, not, not everyone's the same. Not every spirit's the same. Not everyone wants to be told what to do. Not everyone wants to be asked what to do. It, it, there's so many different aspects when you're asking somebody to move on. So... In this in this aspect, um, Carly, the other the other thing is I did do the I did do the um, the smoke I did the the sage and and the candles and the different rituals like that too. So this happened on the Thursday night. So Thursday afternoon I did all these rituals. I did the smoking of the house. I did the sage, the white sage, the candles. Um, I even I don't know whether you know this, but even on Google now you can actually Google um, music to help move spirit on, which I thought was quite surprising. I didn't know that there was actually music to help spirit on. I've got singing bowls and I've got different things like that, but there's actually on Google now. So if you're having trouble, Google that up too. So anyway, I did all that and this subdued her. And, uh, but on Friday, she came back with a little bit of sort of vengeance after this, she sort of attacked Phil and, and went, you know, that's not, she's not moving and all the rest. It was then when I sort of went, okay, well, we've tried the authority side, let's try the other side. So I started to connect with her on the Friday to find out what was going on and who she was. So this is who she is. This is who she was. She was actually in more of the pioneering era. So she came through this. When I first connected with her, she was very, very confused. And there was a lot of strong masculine feminine energies with her. Now I knew she was feminine, but there was a lot of masculine aspects to it. Now these masculine aspects were because I, at first I thought she was a teacher, but she wasn't a teacher. She was actually a nanny um, and she was working with this well-to-do pioneering family. The father of this family ruled the household with it like an iron fist and he expected his children to be raised in the same manner. So this woman, and she would have been, I'd say in her mid forties when she passed, she was in this situation where she wanted to nurture and look after these children, but in the same token, she was expected to raise them as the father would have raised them. So she came, when she came here, she came here under this, this guise of not really knowing, want, wanting to do one thing and, and trying to get another thing. The reason why she had a go at Phil was because he behaved similar to the father behaved and was aggressive, uh, was more assertive, and so she attacked. So that was the aspect. Now, what I found really interesting in this, and, and I've had a lot of situations where uh, spirit will come and attach to people for a reason or they're attached to um, pieces of furniture they will attach to themselves to house so spirit will do things like that which you know I've, I've experienced that before this was a little bit different because this spirit actually attached herself to a situation that was happening in the house that's what attracted her and she has been 
moving around from situation to situation. So there was a situation between my partner and his daughter and it was starting to lift more and more and more. The energy was starting to increase on that. And that's attracted her to here. So that's what I, I had discovered. And the only way she could have been moved on would be through um, more of a passive aspect. So she understood what was going on and she could move forward. That was the only way we could help this, this woman, woman pass. As I'm doing this, I, I wasn't aware that Phil was doing his bit too. And when he helps spirit move on, he will ask his helpers um, to come in. And often if it's somebody that, or something that doesn't want to move, he'll use this veil, like a net veil. Um, and this veil will go through his helpers will do that and will take them away. He said for the first time, and he's never experienced this before, he watched his helpers go into our media room, sit down, and he they talked with this spirit. And they allowed the spirit to understand what was going on so she could actually move forward. She didn't need to be taken. She just needed to have that understanding. And once she understood where she was coming and, and her feelings for not achieving what she needed to achieve when she came into the, as, into a physical body, she, once she got that understanding, she was then able to move move on. So she has moved on. Um, my um, partner's daughter, when, when we asked her how she slept the next day, she said, oh, it's the first time for about two months that she's had a good night's sleep. So she wasn't a, a sort of aware of it until, you know, we asked how she slept so she wasn't aware of the different energy she can feel it now the other thing too that um, I found quite surprising so there's a lot of lessons and and I'll, who was it one of the ladies in it was it Caroline or Helena one of the ladies in there um, said there's a lesson to learn in it and yes there was I absolutely agree with you and one of the reasons why I put this um, question forward to people there, there was lots of learnings. It was the first time I've actually seen spirit attach themselves to a, a, a situation, not necessarily a person or a piece of furniture or a house or something. So it was more of a, a situation that she's, she was following. So that was a first for that. And the other thing was the first for my partner when he watched his helpers talk to her and, and help her go forward. So there was there was quite a few learnings in it and it was, it was really Good to understand but yes our, our friend has gone she has passed over um, she like I said wasn't wasn't bad she just was really confused and really unsure of where she was going and what she was doing so I just wanted to give you all update again thank you so much hey good on you Evan I know you've always got my back so that was really good and Paul you know it, it was really lovely to talk to you you people and get an understanding of um, what it's all about and um, I know I do a lot of this but there's so many other elements and aspects that people use it's really lovely to connect with others and go well what do you do you know what what's your idea so um, yes our, our friend has passed um, and yeah, I think that was all I needed to say. Um, oh, Michelle, what an interesting story yours was too. I have never experienced smell. Um, oh, that was the other thing. When Phil saw the spirit, he saw her, like the first day, she was really, really soft and really like a mist, a small mist. After I did that, she became this real solid, um, like, color you know really solid light when phil saw her he saw it was, it was almost like a tube and there was color in it and his daughter saw that too i don't see that and yet i get a lot of the feeling i get a lot of the understanding when i was con communicating with her i knew exactly where she was coming from knew exactly what she was doing so it was really interesting in that aspect so yeah all in all good result um, it is Sunday afternoon here, evening actually, I'm just about to go and make dinner. I've been in the garden all day, so I've had a lot of grounding, which has been really good. And I just wanted to update everybody. Thank you again for all your help um, and, and your comments. They were, they were really good. I really appreciate it. So thanks again and, and keep up the good work. Bye for now.